riding is a way of life, my child, but not an easy one. If, perchance, you don't have a motorbike yet, we strongly recommend you take the following steps to see if you are worthy to embark on this arduous journey. First, walk into a motorbike shop. Put your wallet on the counter. Tell the staff to help themselves. Once the cash is gone, give them your credit cards and bank account details and tell them to really go to town. Then, arrange to have your salary paid directly to your motorbike dealer. still with me, Grasshopper? Good. Now, every Sunday, go out to your car, scratch the panels and break at least one window. If you feel bad about doing this, keep destroying the car until a feeling of numb depression and apathy kick in. Then, Spend all of your spare time the next six days, making it look brand new again. Repeat this process every week. Create a fake plaster cast for your leg and wear it at least half the time. Keep moaning to everyone about how much your leg hurts until they tell you to shut up or they run away. Now back to your car again. Put just enough sand in the gearbox so the engine will require a rebuild every three months. Listen to the following message. I can't believe you are riding again. We are already broke and all you do is break expensive parts and hurt yourself, then spend the whole week moaning about your injuries and having to fix the bike, and then you do it all again. Why? Why? Listen to this message repeatedly, and each time try to give a logical, plausible answer. Of course, this won't be possible, but it will help to annoy your family. And finally, put on a helmet, boots, armor, and so much protective gear you can barely move. Then go into a steaming hot sauna and jump around for several hours yelling to yourself, I am having fun, I am having fun. Obviously you are not, but that's not the point, my child. Owning a dirt bike is largely a painful, expensive, tedious hobby. And you'll need to practice awfully hard to convince yourself it is worthwhile. In fact, the greatest joy often comes from when you stop your ride as the absence of pain can be a moment of true bliss. Go in peace, my child.